Hey everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a Stampin' Show and Tell for you today, and I have to say it's not a quick one, but that's just because cutting this paper was a little bit tricky. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, this one is for playing in a blog challenge with Case the Sketch, and the sketch was um, similar to this, so it had two pieces um, of shaded paper or space on it on a background. So I've stepped mine in a bit and I'm using designer series paper for my two um, pieces here. So I'm going to take you through how I figured out how to cut mine and then I'll put the whole thing together for you. So I'm going to need, um, I started with two pieces of the Birthday Bonanza designer series paper. Right? The colors coordinate, they're fun papers, and really if that's going to be my focal point, that's all I need and then I'm just going to add a sentiment. So I started with two pieces of designer series paper. So I sketched it out on my grid paper and I decided that I wanted this piece here, right, to be about three by two and a quarter. But then I have to cut my angle. So I've got my paper cutter, right, you have your paper trimmers. So I've got three by two and a quarter. And so what I need to do, and maybe I need to zoom in just a little so you guys can see on my paper trimmer. Now they're all a little bit different, but they've all this got this grid, right, where our cutter cuts down. So what you want to do is you want to put your paper in and have both tips in that grid lane. So I'm just going to have to work it until it's, whoop, and it likes to move. So, okay. So I'm going to put that down. I'm holding that very securely, and I'm just going to run my cutter along there. So there's my triangle. Okay, that was the easy one. Now, let's do the other one. All right, so now I've got the bottom piece. So let's do the top piece. So the top piece I decided would be three and three quarters, so I've already cut that to three and three quarters. Um, I decided I was gonna mount it and that I wanted a quarter inch gap here. So that leaves one and three quarters down this side. So what I did was I used my trimmer again and I put this in at one and three quarters, and I'm not going to cut it across because I need that little dip, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put a little etch on the side so I know where that one and three quarters is. So I just have a tiny little cut there. Okay, now there's the tiny little cut. So now I have my paper. I need to make a V, right? But I want this angle to match this angle. So what I did is I just put, lined my paper up on the edge and up to where that line was, okay, when following, I'm just overlaying my piece and I'm taking my pencil and I'm going to lightly draw a pencil line up. So now I can do that. So the other one needs to go from this point to this corner. So I'm just going to use my paper, and I line that up on there, and I go to my corner, just like on our paper cutter, I just twist it until my straight edge is on both points. Okay, and then again, I'm just lightly taking my pencil and drawing a straight edge. So let's see how it did. So now I'm just going to take my paper snips and carefully cut along the line. Now if you were really good with those paper trimmers, once your lines are drawn, you could probably do them on your paper trimmers, but I don't mind using my scissors, so that's what I did. Alright, so there's my top piece. So let's see how this all goes. So I decided to mount all mine on white so I could stamp with the sentiment. So this is going to go right there at the top. This is going to go right here on the bottom. Okay, and there's just a little bit of gap in between. That makes sense? I hope that made sense how I showed how I cut those pieces. Because when I first look at the sketch, I'm like, how do they ever figure out how to do that? But then you just start working with the paper and you figure it out. So that's what I did. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Tombow to put these pieces on. Just because it lets me slide them around a little bit. And I do want them right on the edges of that Whisper White paper. Here's this one. So, 
just going to slide this straight edge to the top of that Whisper white card. I'm lined up on the side, I'm lined up on the top. Just press that down to it here. And then I've got this bottom one. Same idea, just a little bit of Tombow on the back up to those edges. And then this one's going to go right down here in the corner. Slide that in, meet my corner. There we go. There. So, that is the difficult part of the card. So, now from here, because we've got Bermuda Bay in here, and I think that's a festive color, I'm going to use Bermuda Bay to back this, and then I'm going to use Bermuda Bay ink to do my sentiment. So I'm just putting that on there, and I only have a little bit of that showing, so see, just a little bit. And then that is going to get stamped on. So I'm borrowing from Peaceful Moments the Happy Birthday sentiment. And I started by just putting one right here. And then I decided, you know, maybe I think I want more than one. So what I did was, I did the bottom corner, and then I kind of broke up the difference in between. So maybe I got lucky that three fit. It's going to depend on how yours actually comes together, and how large your sentiment is. But that was kind of fun to do with that. So now this whole thing is going to get dimensionals. And then we're going to put that on the top of our Whisper White card. And we're going to have a nice, cheery fun birthday card to give or send away. So I'm going to trace this with my bone folder so it's nice and crisp. Okay, and then just to add a little bit of fun, I've got these Gingham Gala um, sequins. So I'm going to just Peel and stick a couple of these, kind of close to where those balloons are, just to give our cart a little bit of sparkle. And we're done. So, uh, so like I said, I played in the Case the Sketch Challenge, so I'll have the link to that in the blog post. So you can go and see what other people created with this design. And on the blog, I will put all my uh, materials and measures, and I'll even put my little chart that shows how I drew out and then cut my paper. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're doing some stamping to relieve some stress these days and I'll see you again real soon. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.